Now exclusive information from a CBS News poll. On many issues, it continues to show a deep partisan divide, but on health care right now, there's more consensus. 60% of Americans say President Trump and Congress should just move on. The outlook for the next four years is starkly partisan. 89% of Republicans are optimistic. 68% of Democrats are pessimistic. And on the Russian meddling in the election, 63% of Americans think an FBI investigation into possible ties between the Russians and the Trump campaign is necessary. Ruta Bay, the ranking Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, meanwhile, today said Russia paid more than a thousand hackers to create fake news during the 2016 presidential campaign. Both he and his Republican counterpart are vowing to work together without the infighting seen in the House Intelligence Committee. This investigation scope will go wherever the intelligence leads it. Republican Chairman Richard Burr said the Senate committee is reviewing thousands of documents. Both Senator Burr and the top Democrat on the Senate committee, Mark Warner, made a public show of unity. An outside foreign adversary effectively sought to hijack our most critical democratic process, the election of a president. And in that process, decided to favor one candidate over another. Senators stood in sharp contrast to the House, where partisan bickering between ranking Democrat Adam Schiff and Republican Chairman Devin Nunes have led to calls for Nunes to step aside. The Republican chairman says that won't happen in the Senate, even though he is a Trump supporter. I'll do something I've never done. I'll admit that I voted for it. But I've got a job in the United States Senate. And I take that job extremely serious. It overrides any personal beliefs that I have. The Senate investigation will examine whether the Trump campaign coordinated with the Russians who carried out a wave of cyber attacks during the election. It will also investigate whether thousands of Internet trolls hired by the Russians manipulated the news cycle in swing states, spreading fake news about Hillary Clinton. In an interview with CBS This Morning's Nora O'Donnell, House Speaker Paul Ryan said Vladimir Putin continues trying to influence elections around the world. With Russia trying to influence uh, elections in Eastern Europe and Europe around the globe, we th I think we have a, a special responsibility, given our capabilities, to make sure that we help our allies guard against this meddling by Russia in their elections, just like they tried to with our election. Now, Ryan said during that interview that he is not giving up on repealing and replacing Obamacare and hopes to put together a new bill. He said if Democrats get involved, it would mean government control of health care, which he opposes. Now, you can see the full interview with House Speaker Paul Ryan tomorrow on CBS This Morning.